Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today is day 25 of our indoor tomato growth and this is the mini bell tomato plant. So this is a super miniature sized tomato plant and it's doing really well. You could see that it's just jam packed with flowers right now. And we even have a couple little tomatoes that are getting nice and plump. I'll show you an example of that really soon. And look at how tight and compact this plant is right now and it's just loaded with flowers everywhere I look basically. Even the suckers that are growing in, shortly after they start growing, um, flowers start to set in. You could see an example of what I mean right over here. This sucker is not even like, I don't even believe it's uh, an inch tall right there right now, so very early for the flowers to start growing. And you could see basically, look at these tomatoes are just getting nice and large. And this is a dwarf sized tomato plant like I mentioned, so they're definitely going to be really small, even, probably even smaller than, um, than a cherry sized tomato plant. But I'll show you an example of what the website looks like. And you see I got a couple of little, little babies in between. Uh, I got it maybe about I think like three or four uh, current fruits that are currently growing. And the rest of the flowers are just kind of in between pollinating and opening up and closing up. And I got these seeds from rareseeds.com. I don't work for the company or advertise for them in any way. I just enjoy the seeds right now. And you can see that's the example of what the plant and the seeds look like. I mean, the, the fruit looks like. So it looks really similar, honestly, to, to my plant, I think. Um, although theirs looks a little bit more animated, so it's kind of hard to tell if it's a real image or not. But overall, um, I think the growth is doing really well. It is super compact and, and you know, um, ornamental looking, kind of like how their image was. Um, the fruits definitely look like they're going to be small, probably like about one, one ounce, maybe two ounce size. So really, really tiny. Uh, I'm excited to see what they taste like. It does have a couple of good reviews, so I guess we'll see. I, I've tried growing this plant in the past. Um, I've never actually grown it up until this stage. Something always went wrong. But that's just gardening. You have your ups and downs. But overall, everything is doing really well, guys. Um, I noticed a couple of the leaves were getting like damaged here and there. I've been picking picking them off most of the damaged ones um, as I see them grow. So what I did yesterday was I just swapped out the nutrients completely and I gave this whole system a, a deep cleaning as best as I could. I can't take out uh, the clay pebbles there essentially, but I did run like um, I did run water going all around it and kind of like at the very edge, try to do, at least wash off whatever algae was growing there as much as as much as I could. I must have spent maybe a good like half hour, 45 minutes just washing the system out before I did any type of nutrient swapping. And I added two, two gallons of fresh nutrients with Maxi Grow again. And I just used um, the bare minimum. I put two scoops, um, two teaspoons for two gallons. And you could see that the plant is doing well, guys. Let me grab a measuring table. Let me see, let me see how big this thing is right now. It looks like we got uh, like a 10 inch length by eight like maybe eight or probably nine inches tall something like that and maybe about seven inches wide so it looks um it looks like it grew um quite a bit the last update i showed you guys was i think like day 14 and i believe it was seven inches by seven inches all around and let me try to lift up these flowers show you guys at least up close to the ruler you have a size comparison how big they are so you could see just how small these are in comparison to real flowers. Like three or four flowers is probably not even the size of one inch together. And look at how compact this plant is, guys. It's, it's really doing well for me. Um, other than a couple damaged leaves, I'll show you an example of what I mean by that really soon. Hopefully you guys could help me pinpoint what's going on and narrow, narrow some things down. Um, I'm definitely no expert by far, guys. I'm just an I'm just amateur grower who who really enjoys gardening and I like sharing my experience with you guys and kind of talking talking about it. It's kind of like my online diary and I like going back to my videos and looking things up. So you could see basically what the leaves look like. These are a couple of the damaged leaves that I, that I mentioned earlier. So let me see if I can find like a, like a really damaged one I could show you guys. You know, you see these like little circles begin to kind of like grow in and then it starts to kind of brown and wilt away. It doesn't seem to be affecting the overall growth of the plant. I mean, when, when the leaves do die off, there are new leaves that take their place and new flowers. The flowers don't seem to be affected and the fruits don't seem to be affected, which is why I, 
excuse me, which is why I went in yesterday and I, I went in for like a really deep, heavy cleaning and washed the whole system out and I kind of scrubbed it with some soap and water. And then I, I used a little alcohol just to kind of like um, disinfect uh, the bottom container that had the algae growing in. And you can see basically what the leaf looks like. Let me try to zoom in a little bit more. Um, so if any of you guys know kind of like what's going on, try to help me narrow, narrow some things down. Like I mentioned, I'm just an amateur, so I enjoy it. Any tips are welcome, guys. So you see what I mean? It puts on these little circles. It could just be a deficiency with the plant itself. Like that, that might just be how the plant is. So, some, some, um, some plants just grow with, with problems. But overall, it doesn't seem to be affecting the growth of the plant, so I can't really complain too much. Um, this is already the second nutrient change that we've done um, during this ebb and flow kit. So it seems like it goes about like a month or so before I need to do um, a nutrient swap. So that, that's, that's pretty good to know. And this is a really small container. It's like a 17 inch by 11 inch container, seven, seven inch tall. And you can see my comparison to my hand um, next to the plant, it's really small. And I'm not a big guy, guys. So you could see um, the plant is really compact and small. And I'm just gonna take a little bite of some shard right there. And <laughs> you could see um, just kind of like how I pollinate um, the, the plants right now. I just kind of come in and I give it like a little tap here and there. And I generally do this in the morning. Um, I, I kind of do it maybe like several times a day, especially since I've been home already over two months. It's kind of hard not to, to come in and, and fondle your plants here and there. So as always, guys, if you like the episode, please hit that thumbs up. It helps me out greatly. Post any messages or comments down below. I greatly appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me recently. And I'm really excited to get to 10K. I, I really want to get to 10,000 subscribers. And I want to try to do like a giveaway or something once we get to 10,000 subscribers. Because that's, that's a really huge goal for me. I never expected to get that many subscribers, guys. Thanks for the support.